China thought they were ahead. With stealth fighters like the J-20 and J-31 rolling out fast, many believed the U.S. was falling behind in the next air war. But what if the truth is the opposite? What if the U.S., the Air Force, was preparing something far more advanced? Something that doesn't just catch up, but takes total control of the skies? Now that moment has arrived. The U.S. has unveiled not one, but four powerful new jets each with a specific mission to stop China's rise in the air. From futuristic sixth-generation fighters to upgraded beasts ready to crush anything in their path, the game has changed. So the real question is, can China keep up? Or has the U.S. just pulled off the biggest comeback in air combat history? The NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance. This is the future of air power, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. The NGAD is not just a sixth-generation fighter. It's the most secretive and advanced aircraft ever developed by the U.S. Air Force. Built with modular design, next-gen stealth, and an onboard AI that works like a digital co-pilot, the NGAD doesn't just fly at things, it adapts and it hunts in silence. The Air Force has already made sure that this plane is not a one jet, but it is a component of a larger system of systems. It implies that NGAD is enclosed with wingman drones, surveillance planes, and command satellites, all of which are linked to each other via real-time data connections. Its AI is not only aimed at automation, but it is a learning system, which predicts the enemy tactics and helps the pilot to make decisions which save his or her life in milliseconds. What truly sets NGAD apart is what it controls beyond itself. This jet acts as a command ship in the sky, leading swarms of drones and shifting its electronic profile in real time to stay invisible. It's designed for one purpose, complete air dominance. While older jets rely on the pilot's skill, NGAD creates a connected battlefield where every move is calculated, precise, and deadly. It is said to be designed with variable cycle engines, which provide it with unrivaled range and speed control. It is able to work deep into enemy territory without needing to fuel up and even change its stealth coding to suit various missions. And make no mistake, this is not built to compete with the past. It's designed to crush the future threats, China's J-20 stealth fighter and the upcoming J-31. With longer weapons range, smarter sensors, and near-invisible radar signature, NGAD isn't just a response, it's a warning. When this jet enters the battlefield, it won't be a fight, it'll be a finish. The F-15EX Eagle II. The F-15EX may carry an old name, but this is not the same fighter from past wars. This beast has been rebuilt from the inside out, a next-gen evolution of a proven legend. It now carries a new radar system, advanced fly-by-wire controls, and digital infrastructure designed for modern warfare. But the real headline, it can carry more weapons than any fighter jet in America's fleet, making it an airborne arsenal. This isn't a stealth jet, and it doesn't need to be. The F-15EX is built to show up, strike hard, and keep flying. Its rugged design, upgraded systems, and ability to return to the fight quickly make it a perfect companion for frontline missions. While stealth fighters focus on slipping in and out, the Eagle II is built to take the hit, return fire, and stay in the sky longer than anything its size. When facing threats like China's J-16, a powerful twin-seat multi-role fighter, the F-15EX offers several key advantages. It launches faster, flies farther, and carries more missiles into the fight. In a large-scale conflict, that means more targets destroyed, more missions completed, and more lives saved. Its electronic warfare systems are also tough to jam, giving it an edge in messy high-tech battles. This jet doesn't rely on being invisible. It relies on being unstoppable. It's a war machine that doesn't hide from trouble. It charges straight into it. In the modern air war, not every mission is about stealth. Sometimes it's about overwhelming power. And when that moment comes, the F-15EX will be the one leading the charge. The F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 isn't just surviving the future, it's adapting to it. Though it's already been flying missions for years, the latest upgrades are turning it into an even more dangerous weapon. New software boosts its brain power, while upgraded stealth coatings improve survivability. With every update, it's not just getting better, it's becoming more aware, faster, and deadlier than ever before. One of the F-35's biggest strengths is its ability to fight as part of a connected force. It links directly with U.S. Navy carriers, Marine Corps units, and even allied jets in the sky. This creates a real-time combat network, 
where targets can be found, tracked, and destroyed in seconds often before the enemy even knows they've been spotted. It's not just a fighter jet, it's a flying sensor, a command node, and a stealth assassin all in one. With its internal weapons bay, the F-35 can carry powerful missiles while staying nearly invisible to radar. Its sensors sweep the sky and the ground for threats, feeding constant data to the pilot and other forces. The enemy doesn't just have to fight the F-35, they have to fight an entire digital web of firepower it's connected to. That's a level of dominance no Chinese jet has been able to match so far. The real difference is in the sensor fusion system of the F-35. This is the ability of the aircraft to integrate all three factors, such as radar, infrared, and electronic signals into one easy-to-read panel by the pilot. This enables the F-35 to look through clouds, black, and even enemy jamming. The pilot does not simply react, but he anticipates. The helmet itself is an amazing piece of technology as it transmits a 360-degree view of the battlefield, providing the pilot with unparalleled situational awareness. Against China's J-20 stealth fighter, the F-35 holds a clear advantage in one critical area, electronic warfare. Its sensor fusion and jamming capabilities make it incredibly hard to counter. Whether it's tracking stealth aircraft, surviving missile attacks, or slipping deep into enemy territory, the F-35 does it all and does it silently. This isn't the future of air combat, this is the present and it's flying now. This is not the future of air warfare, this is the present and it is currently in operation. Each additional hour of flight transforms it into smart. Each new software update transforms it into powerful. The F-35 is not simply redefining air power, it is redefining the rules of present-day warfare. The B-21 Raider, support role in air superiority. At first glance, the B-21 Raider looks like a stealth bomber built for deep strikes and long-range missions. But its true value goes far beyond dropping bombs. In the U.S. Air Force's playbook for countering China, the Raider is a silent assassin and a strategic shield. It can launch from far outside enemy range, stay invisible to radar, and strike air bases, command centers, or radar installations before enemy jets even get airborne. What makes the B-21 even more dangerous is how it blends into the entire air dominance strategy. It doesn't just fly solo, it fights alongside aircraft like the F-22 and F-35. Equipped with advanced data links and AI-guided mission systems, the Raider can coordinate attacks, share targeting data, and even jam or blind enemy defenses. It's a ghost in the sky that helps everyone else hit harder and survive longer. Unlike traditional bombers, the B-21 is designed to be adaptable. It can carry both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air weapons, meaning it's not just attacking buildings, it can assist in sweeping the skies clean. In heavily contested zones where GPS is jammed and radars are tracking everything, the Raider's stealth, autonomy, and real-time computing power make it the perfect tool to break through and open the door for U.S. fighters. In a real fight with China, time and space matter. If the U.S. can deny airfields, disrupt enemy sensors, and cut off early warning systems, the entire battle shifts. That's where the B-21 dominates. It doesn't just support, it cripples the enemy's response before it starts. With the Raider leading the charge, American fighters don't need to dodge missiles. They can fly in confident, clear, and in control. The F-22 Raptor. Prior to the NGAD being the center of attention on the skies, the F-22 Raptor was the undeniable master of air dominance. This jet is almost impossible to touch even decades after it was introduced. The F-22 became the first fifth-generation stealth aircraft with radar invisibility, super cruise capability, and agility never before seen in the world. All of the major air forces such as China studied it to come up with their own next-gen jets, and there is no one who has totally copied it. The F-22 is not only frightening because it is stealthy, it is the situational awareness, as pilots refer to it as seeing the enemy without being seen. Its radar and sensor fusion enable the pilot to locate, pursue, and kill multiple targets before they are able to detect the existence of the aircraft. The Raptor has a crucial advantage over China J-20 with its maneuverability, jamming, and in-closing capabilities. Team play is, however, the biggest strength of the Raptor. With F-35s or the future NGAD, it will be a multi-layered defense network that controls the air at all angles. Although the production ceased many years ago, upgrades are ongoing. New avionics, greater radar, and enhanced data links make it deadly. 
The F-22 is not merely the frontline jet of America, but it has become the bridge between the fifth and sixth generation, a living legend to this day that reigns in the battlefield silently and confidently. Cyber and space integration. Air fighting in the modern world is not simply the one with the quickest jet, it concerns data ownership. The US Air Force has been integrating its air domination strategy with cyber warfare and space operations in silence, thus forming a new domain of dominance that is beyond the atmosphere. Satellites flying overhead are used to monitor the enemy movements, detect patterns of launch, and relay live intelligence directly to the cockpits of fighters. At the same time, cyber teams have the capability to spoil Chinese radar systems, interfere with their communications, or compromise targeting systems before a missile is launched. This implies that before the enemy jets have even taken off, the U.S. already knows their positions, their range, and their armaments. The result of this integration is now known as Joint All-Domain Command and Control, JADC2, by the Pentagon, a colossal interconnected military network connecting air, land, sea, cyber, and space in real time. The F-35 and NGAD are both designed to fit into this system so that they can demand the attention of space assets, drones, and ships right away. China has spent big on satellite annihilation and computer defense, yet the U.S. is decades ahead in digital warfare. All contemporary airplanes have become links in a worldwide fighting system, constantly educating and evolving. Then even in case China develops faster jets, it cannot easily infiltrate this system. The next war of the skies will not be won by high speed, but by information supremacy, and America already dominates that. F-16, Fighting Falcon. Others are erased out of history, others rewrite it. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the few machines that are not going to go away. However, decades since its initial takeoff, it continues to carry combat missions throughout the globe, not as an ancient artifact, but as a completely modernized superpower. F-16s in the present day are much different than the light fighters of the 1980s. The most recent models, the F-16V Viper, have active electronically scanned array AESA radars, advanced electronic warfare systems, enhanced engines, and precision-guided weapon systems. The Falcon is now on equal footing with newer jets with regard to situational awareness and survivability due to digital fly-by-wire controls and state-of-the-art avionics. The F-16 is the workhorse of the skies in the case of the U.S. Air Force, a highly versatile economical platform that it can use to fulfill a variety of missions, including air superiority and ground attack, as well as to suppress enemy air defenses. In such a possible large-scale war with China, modernized F-16 will manage the operational burden, which will be in defending air bases, accompanying bombers, and hitting critical targets with the stealth monsters like F-35s and NGAD given priority operations. Outside of America, there are dozens of other allied countries that continue to use the F-16. It forms a global fighting net, a web of interoperable jets that are capable of sharing data, coordinating missions, and responding swiftly to threats in their regions of operation. It is not merely an airplane, but it is a multiplier of global forces. In brief, the F-16 has been transformed into a digital age warrior, as opposed to a single engine fighter. Its history does not revolve around the past. It is about demonstrating that even the old can take over the contemporary battle stage with the right modifications. The Fighting Falcon does not grow old, he changes. The F-A-18 Super Hornet Block III. The Air Force has taken control of the skies with the F-35 NGAD and F-15EX, but this time the U.S. Navy has its own killer in the air, the F-A-18 Super Hornet Block III. It is an improved multi-role fighter that is at the core of the carrier strike groups of America and is an important key in combating the increasing Chinese naval air power in the Pacific. The Block III variant will make the old Super Hornet a near fifth generation platform. It has lower radar cross section and a longer range and brand new advanced cockpit system. A panoramic touch display that provides pilots with a real time and data rich view of the battlefield. Its new conformal fuel tanks put it hundreds of miles farther and it can patrol South China Sea or attack a target inland without refueling. The real power of the Block III, however, is its network capability, which is network centric. It is intended to operate in concert with F-35Cs, providing data in real time in order to produce a smooth air-sea battle picture. Practically, this implies that a Super Hornet can overpower, jam, and destroy the threats well before the carrier that launched the Hornet is spotted by the enemy. 
Its modernized infrared search and track IRST system allows it to detect stealth aircraft such as the J-20 made by China, even when the radar is weak. The Super Hornet Block 3 is also an endurance aircraft. It is less expensive to maintain with an extended airframe and capable of carrying a combination of air-to-air, -air, air to ground and anti-ship missiles. Combined with the electronic attack variants, such as the EA-18G Growler, it is included in an invincible attack package that can blind, crippling, and destroy the enemy defensive in a few minutes. At sea, where dominance of the seas is dominance of the airspace, the FA-18 Super Hornet Block III would guarantee that any effort to dare U.S. carriers is met with a swift, decisive, and devastating retaliation. The United States isn't just keeping pace, it's setting the pace. With the NGAD F-15EX, upgraded F-35, and B-21 all entering the battlefield together, the Air Force is building an aerial force that's more connected, more lethal, and more survivable than ever. All these planes are components of a much bigger plan, an air power network. All jets, drones, satellites supply information to each other and form a living, breathing combat web that can respond more quickly than any human chain of command ever could. This is not only with better aircrafts, but complete battlefield awareness. When any enemy aircraft lifts off, the U.S. is already aware of its position, cargo, and how to shoot it down. China's stealth jets might be new, but America's response is already airborne. Each aircraft plays a role, and together they form a system designed to overwhelm any threat from the first shot to the final strike. The skies of the future are contested, but with these jets in play, the U.S. isn't just ready for the fight, it's already in command. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more high-impact military tech stories. Stay tuned, the next revelation in air power is just one click away.